What's up YouTube, Daniel Carter at Afro Herb Keeper here. Uh, today I am actually bringing you guys a DIY video on how to set up a tank for aquatic freshwater turtles. Um, this guy has been running for about 24 hours now, and I actually just received the inhabitants yesterday. They're a pair of razorback musk turtles. Uh, they're about two months old and they haven't been named yet, but they are very, very small. Um, this tank would be ideal for uh, any small species of North American turtle. You could probably also put um, any other species that really does fine with sand as a substrate. I chose musk turtles because they're small even as adults. They don't take up that much room and this setup should maintain them for most of their juvenile lives. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now, these are the majority of the materials we're going to be using in this build. Um, a lot of these are actually Zilla products. Right here we've got the uh, Zilla basking platform ramp, and over here we have the corner basking platform ramp. This guy over here is the Zilla basking platform filter, and as the name suggests, it does double as both a basking platform and a filter. Uh, this one's already set up. It's been run in a tank for uh, about a month, so it's got a bit of establishment in the filter there, so there's some beneficial bacteria going on. And then to the left of that, these are just some river rocks. Uh, these have been uh, in multiple tanks before, so I soaked these in vinegar for a while and then rinsed them clean multiple times, uh, just to try to get rid of any bacteria and sanitize them a bit for this tank. Over here to the far left, we've got some Carib Sea Supernaturals Premium Aquarium Substrate. And this is going to be uh, our substrate for the tank. It's a very fine grain white sand. Uh, and for the turtles we are putting in here, uh, sand works fine. I know uh, regular gravel a lot of people like to use. And then larger rocks like these work as well. But we're going to be using sand for visibility and for uh, aesthetic purposes but we are going to be adding some of these larger stones to create more of a natural feel for the turtles. Now up here is our actual tank. Uh, this is a Zilla Premium Aquatic Turtle Setup and I actually won this guy in an auction at the last Lone Star Rattlesnake Days which is a uh, Texas event for the preservation and conservation of all rattlesnake species. It's a great event. I know a lot of the people there and I would definitely recommend you check it out. I've got a video on it from last year up. I think I'll put a link for that in the description. But anyways, this tank is uh, about the same size as a standard 20 gallon long. You can see it's got this slanted front right here, which looks really nice. Uh, it is a pretty expensive kit, which is why I'm glad I won it in the auction, but a standard 20 gallon tank would work just fine. This light fixture up here is a combination UVB and heat fixture, and it is a miniature fixture, so it fits on this rail really well. Um, in here, we've got the mini compact fluorescent and a mini halogen bulb. The fluorescent is going to be providing UVB light, which is important for the turtle's shell growth, and the halogen is going to be providing mainly heat, which is important to keep the turtles uh, at the right temperature, obviously. So our first step, once we've got all our supplies, is going to be to actually rinse out our sand. Uh, we've already I've already cleaned out the river rocks. They've been, like I said, soaked in vinegar. Uh, and then the decor, the hides, the filter, all that has been scrubbed and is ready to go. So first off, we're going to rinse our sand. Uh, we've got a five gallon bucket here. We're gonna do this in the tub. And uh, this is just to ensure that the water doesn't get cloudy, doesn't, uh, get filled with particulate as soon as we start the tank. So in order to do this, uh, we are first going to be cutting into the corner of our sandbag, and we are going to let all of this flow out into the bucket. And if I'm not mistaken, this brand actually comes with uh, some tank clarifier that we're not going to be using right now, but I'm going to make sure all the sand gets out into the bucket. Take caution, of course, not to get this anywhere else. Okay. 
Our next step is going to be to start running water. Uh, we are going to want to uh, make sure all of the sand is thoroughly soaked through. Uh, we don't want any of it to stay dry. And once this is done, we're going to be mixing the sand around a little bit. Uh, all the, you can see there's some bubbles rising from the side. That is an air pocket down there. And we're just mixing the sand around so that all of the dirt and all the sediment rises to the top. And then once that's taken care of, we're actually going to tip this, being very careful not to dump any sand into the tub. And like I said, our goal here is not to get rid of the sand, it's to get rid of the murky water that comes with it. And we're going to repeat this process another two or three times. And our goal in doing this is just to get all that particulate out of the sand to make sure there's nothing left when the sand goes into the tank. That way the water stays clear and there's nothing floating around. Now, it's well worth mentioning that this is not tap water. Uh, it's not chlorinated. This is actually from a well. Um, and you don't want to use tap water when you're cleaning this sand. Uh, or in your tank, for that matter. If you do, it could come with chemicals, chlorine, any number of things that could be harmful to your animals. If you are using tap water, I recommend you get a product to help uh, clear your water of those chemicals. Uh, a lot of reptile companies uh, make those. If you're not using tap water, uh, well water works great, distilled water, spring water. I think spring water works best, honestly. And here is our finished product. 20 pounds of clean, rinsed, Carob Sea Supernaturals sand. Now our second step is going to be actually furnishing the tank. Uh, so we're going to begin with our filter slash basking platform. This is going in the back left corner just for, uh, that's the best, that's the place it fits best, honestly, and that's just for ease of maintenance. I'm gonna lift this up, move the cord, and this is available to be plugged in whenever we need it. Here we've got our other basking platforms. These are gonna double as hiding places for the turtles. Uh, I'm gonna be setting this one back in this corner, and I think I'm gonna have this one for the time being at least, resting right. I think this looks pretty good. Uh, with all setups like this, honestly, the best way to have an, the best way to get your tank looking great is to experiment. And if you, that means you have to move things around to get things to look right, uh, then go for it. Our next step now is going to be actually getting the sand into the tank. Uh, to do this, I'm just using a little plastic jar, uh, filling it with sand one jar full at a time, and I'm going to be dumping it into the tank bit by bit. And this is obviously one of the messier parts, so don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. So we finished adding our sand, and uh, for ease of cleanup, what I'm doing right now is I am actually uh, washing any excess sand off of our decor, off of the walls of the tank, and uh, thinning out the sand that is already here. Now that all that's done, we are actually going to start filling the tank with water. And uh, when we do this, in order not to disrupt the sand, I'm going to aim the water towards one of the basking platforms.
now we're going to be adding uh, river rocks. Uh, we're just going to be placing these more or less at random, probably more towards the back. Um, just try to create a natural riverscape kind of habitat. I've got quite a few of these, so no need to skimp. Now that we've got all our river rocks in place, I think they look pretty good where they are. Uh, I might move a few here and there, but for the time being, I think this looks good. Uh, we're going to wait about a day, maybe two, for the water to clear, and then once that's done, I think it'll be about time to add our turtles.